Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 5th of 2017. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. And of course, uh, this news from south of uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area, San Antonio, actually a small, I guess a small community at least uh, 20 killed in a mass shooting in the church and says here in the headline that the pastor's daughter 14 years old is one of them that's killed you know it's early uh, we don't know well the gunman was killed also but we don't know what caused the person to you know to do it will be I'm sure hearing about on about that on the news for the next week or so. Uh, let me refresh this, see if there's any, if it's, a friend of mine said that he heard it was uh, 26. I'm not sure where you heard that. I uh, tuned in, you can, there's an app, and there's a site, or a site you can go to and you can actually go, well, so I don't know how well this will show up here. Uh, let's see. As far as the apps, it's uh, repeater, no, broadcastivity. And let's see how this shows up. There we go. Got a pretty good uh, view for it. I, that's one thing I need to work on is, uh, so here they have, uh, feeds with alert top here top 25 feeds and it's the Chicago police is at the top of the list but under that you'll see San Antonio and the Beck R County law enforcement 404 listeners Got the camera here and got the mic. <laughs> over here. So, um, guess I've, I've put this before. I guess I should put again, put the link where in case when something like this happens, you can, uh, especially if it's in an area, uh, tune in. Now, if something happens in Dallas Fort Worth, uh, you wouldn't be able to tune in and hear it because they have the police here and fire have now scrambled their communication so you have to have one of their units uh, in order to uh, it's for security and you know post 9-11 all that uh, I really think it's a, a mistake I think they would be good to not everything of course you know let them you know they're uh, uh, narcotics investig you know they're following the attack squad you know attack squads but I think they should have uh, the general in, uh, out for the public to hear uh, but uh, <clears throat> I know police officers a lot of police officers do not uh, agree with me and I know the yeah, it's pros and cons, and I, for a small town where I was a police officer, reserve police officer, I patrolled one night a week for 10 years or so, and in the beginning, all they had were reserve officers. Um, one of the first calls, I think it was the first day that I actually was certified to patrol by myself before that I always had to ride with another officer and then 
after I got X number of hours in, and I think it was my first night out, there was a fatality accident, and uh, I think that's also before, it was, it was before the 9-11 phone system was uh, set up, but uh, our dispatcher uh, couldn't had so many people locally calling because I heard sirens or whatever, and it was a small town, and everybody was listening, and people were calling asking, oh, you know, hey, hey, Joe, what's going on tonight? Why all the sirens? And he couldn't make some calls that he needed to make. I don't think it was that night, but another night uh, when something like that happened, the parents of uh, the boy who was killed in the accident or whatever, you know, where he was, the dispatcher was trying to make, that night he didn't, the, he didn't dispatch me. In fact, I'm not sure I was working that night. But the dispatcher was trying to call and get somebody to respond to the parents' house, a minister and a officer and everything to respond to the house and he couldn't get an outside line, and the parents actually were calling and saying, oh, we heard the sirens, what's going on, you know? So I can see the uh, both sides of the issue, but I do think that really it's uh, better to have a channel or channels that the public, if they want to purchase a scanner, that they can, you know, listen to. But, you know, sure, encode your, you know, detectives, the unit, the frequency they use when they're call or when they're uh, doing, you know, I can, so it's both sides. I mean, love it. You know, if you have an opinion, uh, leave it below. Uh, gonorrhea rates up in Australia, 63% in Five years. Is that because they got rid of guns? Don't know. Um, I would, I can't afford to move. I can't afford to move across the street or whatever. If I'm, I don't want to move across the street, but I couldn't afford to. Uh, if there's one country in the world, I would, well, I think I might be actually New Zealand. But Australia is always picked as, uh, you know, when you pick cities, it's Melbourne and City. And Melbourne and Sydney are the best, in the, you know, on the top of the list. And but Australia has every type of poisonous and deadly creature, you know, that there is down there. Now they got gonorrhea. So uh, here's my uh, YouTube channel. You know, this is the main page, and very few people actually, percentage-wise, come here. The way you usually end up is you've uh, clicked that you want to follow, you know, me. And when you click to follow uh, or like or whatever it is, the object, you have the option of a little bell there. And that means that every time I post something you'll get a notice about it and so you people usually find it that way rather than actually coming to the main page or you're somebody who maybe is not a follower and you just come to YouTube and then they have the things that pop up that because of what you're interested in that they think you might be interested in I'm not sure I ever make that uh, make that list but when you're here, if you go up here, you can click on my blog, and that would take you to my blog at the top here. Next to it is uh, Google+. You can go. Next to it is the Android app that I have that you can put on your phone. And uh, I had, well, I have an app. Here's the, uh, see down here in the right hand corner my picture there. That's what uh, pops up. 
And if you click on Home, it takes you home. Um, oh, I have, I upload, I put a Apple app on, but something happened to it. And I had a guy create it for me. And he, my Andrew app is, you know, I uploaded in it. I know where it is. I've never been there to adjust it yet. But, but I had this guy, it was, uh, what, Fiverr? Yeah, Fiverr. And he created it, and then he uploaded it to the his Apple channel, whatever he paid for, or whatever. Well, he's no longer um, doing Fiverr, and uh, so I've got a dead Apple app. I have no idea even how to go in and get it deleted. And uh, I'd like to. Even the Android or even the Android app, I would uh, see if I can go back to it. Yeah, even that I, I have on it. Uh, you click and you can go to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my YouTube page, or you can send me an email. But uh, I'd like to make it better, and I think I'd rather pay somebody to do it than. But I'm gonna want to make sure. <laughs> I don't run in the same situation because this has been working for months or a year or two years or whatever. And it just keeps on working. I don't want to get it messed up. You can also click on uh, donate to PayPal here. And only one person has ever done it. But <laughs> and then you can also shop on Amazon. This is a new... Uh, they did away with their A store, and this is so. This is my store. So if you click on any of these items, of course, I, uh, I you can't say very much about it. They give you just very few lines, but here's the uh, Panasonic GH5, <clears throat> two and a half thousand dollars. I'll never own that. I'm actually thinking about this Panasonic uh, FZ80. It's only $400. It is loaded with features, though, and has a 60x zoom. And I think what it would be ideal for would be to set up on a tripod here and just basically use it uh, because I could use an app, which I can't with. I have two Panasonic cameras now, and either, neither one of those will, you know, I can't use an app with. That I could use an app with, uh, and so I could sit here and with my cell phone I could zoom in, zoom out, do that type of do that type of thing, change some settings. But uh, this uh, FZ three hundred, I had one of those before. It only lasted twenty eight days, but I I think that uh, I, I'm thinking about buying it again, five hundred dollars, but. That's sort of my limit. You know, 500 is, man, oh, wow. A lot of money. But I would like to have this uh, G7. That would be the dream camera to have. Uh, this one's a fairly new addition here that I've added. Uh, the GX85. It's small, uh, point like it's a point-and-shoot camera. It's $600. But it has everything in it. So, what I'm not sure about with the A store, if you came to the A store site, which nobody ever did, and I had it from the very beginning, I didn't publicize it or really do anything about it. I didn't really care for it that much. But if you went to the A store and you visit, you know, you came to it, if you bought something, you know, the item that brought you there or some other item. I would get a commission for it. If you left the site, you know, it set a cookie. So if you came back within the next 30 days and to Amazon and you purchased anything, I would get a commission for it. Um, I'm not sure if this works the same way. 
this would be nice if that was the case. Uh, but I'm not sure. Of course, I'm sure that if you, you know, came there, came here, if that's the way it wor would work, I'm sure if somebody else had had a setup like this, if you came there after me, <coughs> then their cookie would be set for them, I'm sure. So. Oh. Uh, well, what, where was I? Back here? That's it, okay. To at this main channel, you can see, by the way, uh, YouTube sites that I like. Uh, Boogie2988, I've been following him for a long time. Jeff Dunham, I just love his, you know, he's a ventriloquist. Just love his comedy. This one here is, uh, there's a guy, he's a South African, and he's uh, been in China, I forget, I forget how many years, six, seven years or whatever. He lives there, married a Chinese a woman. And he makes some really interesting, uh, makes some really interesting videos. Of course, I'm a liberal, so I go to the Young Turks and watch a lot of their shows. Uh, PBS News. I usually watch the Friday and catch the, and sometimes I just go there uh, to their YouTube thing and catch the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes of the commentary. Philip D. Frank, Philip D. Franco, extremely popular, and uh, well, I I go and and watch it, and, I, and of course, uh, Casey Neistat. It, I go there. I don't like him for some reason. I don't know why, but I enjoy watching most all of his videos. And and I'm learning, you know, I learn stuff, uh, stuff that he does, the way he does things. And so I go there and watch. And uh, so, where's Poppy? I don't even know what that is. I guess it's, these are related channels. I'm not sure how they, somehow they try to figure out if you like my channel then you would, might like these. Amazon puts those, puts those there. Uh, the reason for coming to the channel is, you know, I've got, uh, and other people do it the same, you know, I've got playlists, so it make it a little easier if you are interested in something. Uh, you could check out the playlist. This little 30 second uh, video here <laughs> has had 88,000 views uh, made nine years ago and posted on YouTube nine years ago by me and uh, it's 50 seconds long and uh, I had no intent my uh, son said uh, make, a, make a video of that and I said nobody want to see that and that, that's got uh, 88. Here's something too, a video that installing the Creative Sound Blaster X Phi surround. Uh, it's got 56,000 views. I never thought that would. And then here's one that I made three years ago on uh, what is a pill cutter and how to use it. And it's got 40,000 views. By the way, uh, I think it's still ban or still Amazon turned off the ability to monetize it for me to make any money from the views. Uh, <laughs> and the the reason is because they've got this I want to say aneurysm. Whatever the thing that goes out mechanically and uh no human is involved and apparently in the tags I put uh drug and you know I put drug drug pill I don't know in there and because of the word drug uh, they don't let me make any money off of it I might have appealed that one I very very rarely appeal 
Oh, we can find out. Let's see, what was that uh, pill cutter? Creator Studio. Okay, videos. Okay, uh, pill. P I L L. That ought to pull it up. Okay, that's. Uh, Okay, that's one I uh, appealed and they did turn on. Oh, okay, but see the one under that's got uh, 5,000? That's a review of uh, a uh, pill case that you put your pills in so you know which to, uh, you know, when to take your pills. And I actually ended up buying two of those, one for my son, which he wouldn't use. And then he lost some of the parts and then ended up buying one for myself. But you can see that it's um, not monetized. So I've had uh, 5,000, over 5,000 views. And uh, now if I request it to be reviewed, it used to be they would review it, but usually I didn't bother. But I'm gonna, there's a new thing now there was one the other day I decided, well, just for the heck of it, because, you know, I clicked and it came up and said, uh, you have to have, I forget, 15,000 views within seven days for us to, re you know, have to personally review it. Let's see what happens when I click this here. Okay, it's 1,000, I guess. Let's see. Uh, limit or no ads due to content identified as not suitable for most advertisers. <laughs> review requested. Right now, we are only able to review videos with at least 1,000 views in the past seven days. We'll review your video once it reaches that threshold. I think it was more views before, so maybe they are adding people, so um, maybe that number will come down, but. By the way, uh, YouTubers, it, they don't make money by how many thumbs up, you know, it are given. Uh, they don't make money even by how many people watch their video. What we make money by is how many advertisements that you see. So, just thought I'd pass that information on to you. They have this program, though, a YouTube Red. I'm paying it ten dollars a month, I believe, and it. Uh, if you sign up for that, it you don't see any advertising. And you get other perks. You can see some uh, stuff that YouTube produces and makes that you won't get to see otherwise. Um, you get some music and you get some things. But the thing about that is uh, they divide part of the money that they receive, YouTube does, with all of YouTubers who produce uh, videos for them. And of course, it's a small amount of money, but it's divided up, you know, it's divided up among, uh, of course, I'm sure they divide it up also according to how many, anyway, it's more democratic, I think, and it just doesn't amount to very much money. Uh, the way things are going with this, uh, uh, I'd just rather have everybody signed up for, you know, YouTube Red and do away with, uh, but, well, of course, Amazon wants the uh, Amazon, YouTube. Of course, they, they get money from advertisers, so they, they want the advertising. But Oh, let's see here. YouTube, I can 
click this. Anyway, I'm still thinking about. Uh, I think it's going to depend for which camera I get. I really don't need a new camera. I just want a new camera. I was going to close the shade, but you can see a little bit out the window. So, I I know you all like the uh, walking and talking videos that I made. So, maybe this will count if somebody walks by here. Maybe I can count that as a walking and talking, or can maybe a walking and sitting. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think it's going to depend on which. Uh, this is November 5th when Black Friday comes up or when they decide to have some sales that's going to uh, maybe be the deciding factor uh, if the G7 uh, would come down in price I'd go ahead and get that if the FC300 comes down in price I'd get that like I said, this is an interesting camera. And it has a 60x zoom. It's 20 to 1,200. I can think of a few things that I would uh, like to do with that zoom, but nothing, you know, nothing big. But I could think of making a video and using that a little bit for. I've got a couple ideas for. I want to try to make some better videos. And the uh, thing about this G7 is it takes interchangeable lenses. And here's a lens I would like to have, and it's $250. I think I've seen it for $140, though, I believe. But uh, I kind of hate to get a camera that will take interchangeable lenses because I know then that I'll pay a lot of money for the camera. And then I'll end up thinking, well, I just all oh, this lens and I'll get, a, I'll end up with a couple of lenses, and then I'm carrying them around, and then so I'd kind of hope in a way that I get a camera that doesn't take interchangeable lenses, and then I'm stuck with what I have. Oh, okay, we'll shut this down. This is my blog. Nobody goes there anymore. I enjoy been doing it since 1982, and uh, just it's just fun doing it. It's more fun when people come to your block, though. Let's see if we up fresh, up fresh. If we refresh this, if there's any additional headline changes. Okay, Texas governor says 26 killed in church shooting. Baptist Church. Governor Abbott says we're dealing with the largest shooting in Texas history. Well, I, well let's not end on that. Well, let's, I guess. Thank you very much for Oh, let me mention something to you, by the way. I don't think I mentioned it before. Maybe I did. I just uh, disconnected to make more room on my desk here so I could move my camera around and so I could set my plate there and eat without getting food on my uh, mouse pad. Uh, so right now I've got my Chrome box disconnected and the Chrome uh, book and the Chrome box using the Chrome operating system. There is no way to keep it from, you would think, there's no way to keep it from shutting down. I mean, you know, you're on Windows and Linux, Ubuntu, or whatever, you go in and you say, uh, don't shut the monitor down or shut it down after, you know, if there's no activity after an hour, two hours, three. I, or never, and I always check never. And then there's, for the power, don't turn the power off if the computer isn't used, and I always put never. And uh, on Chrome, there isn't a way. It will, 
if not used after a while, it will go into sleep mode. And there's an app. I found an app in the Chrome uh, App Store. And I uh, forget the name of it now. But you can do a search. And I used it before, and then I couldn't remember what it was, actually, when I, I was going through Chrome and thought, what the heck is that? And I just deleted it, and then I, then I realized what it was. And so then I had to go and install it again. No charge for it, but you'd think that... I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching. I'll try to put some links below. I'm not sure what I'll put, but I'll put some links below. Okay, where do I hit here? Oh, this is what I hit. Stop.